Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my controller settings for Apex Legends, what I personally use. Now, I am only in Platinum. Some people might think that's good. Some people might think that is absolute trash. I only recently got to Platinum maybe two days ago or something, so I haven't really had a chance to get up to Diamond yet. But I am going to be grinding for Diamond, but I'm not somebody who really, really plays Apex too hard yet. So, you know, I'm not the best at it. I still have a lot of room to improve on it. But I did get a request to make a controller settings video, so that's what we're doing here today. So we're going to go down to our settings, and we are going to go ahead and be at our controller settings, which we're already here, which is nice. So... One thing I do want to say right away, if there's any settings that I've considered changing or I'm still considering changing, I'm going to let you know. But all my settings, what you're seeing on screen is everything I've used up to this point in ranked and for casual and for arenas and for the entire game. So we're going to stick to what I know. The button layout is exactly the same. The stick layout is default. Interact reload, tap to use and reload. This one is huge, guys. Like, Do not use hold at all. I would not hold to reload. I would not hold to use. You want to tap on both. This one's super important. Um, this one's going to save your life a ton of times if you have tap on. So go ahead and put tap on. Uh, crouch, I have on toggle. Aim, hold. Um, you know, I really don't like toggle aim. I actually hate toggle aim, to be honest with you. Um, you know, it just doesn't feel natural. Uh, survival slot button on. I really don't know exactly what this uses or what this does. But um, I'm, I think this is when, like... If you are in a pinch and you need a certain item and you just quick select an item, like you just hit the use button, it actually goes to the one you need the most. I think that's how that one works, but I actually don't know. Um, so that one I just have on. It's just what it defaulted to. Uh, trigger dead zones is default. I don't need any additional dead zones on my triggers. My triggers work fine. But if you have any issues with that, then, you know, that is completely on you. Menu cursor speed. I think mine is, you know, pretty damn slow, but at the same time, I don't need it to be flying around the map. So I haven't changed that. Um, moving down here. Movement and aiming. Uh, my look sensitivity is on four. Now, don't get me wrong. I have very, very heavily considered turning this up. However, I feel like my my aiming is a bit more precise on four since I'm playing on max FOV. And that's something even if you're, you know, playing on PC but using a controller, I highly recommend you play on max FOV. It makes the game a lot more fun. It makes the game a lot better. So in my defense for having a low sensitivity is having the max FOV. So that way you can control the recoil a little bit better and not be as jumpy on the high sense. Typically, when you have a higher FOV and a higher sensitivity, it leads to a lot more errors unless you're on mouse and keyboard. And at that point, you have basically infinite sensitivity because the only thing you're limited by is your mouse's DPI. So moving on, my look sensitivity is the same. I want everything to feel, you know, nice and smooth and exactly the same. Uh, per optic settings, I've never even went in there, so I'm not even going to go in there. I'm assuming everything is default. My response curve is classic. Um, it's just when I started playing the game in 2019, when it came out, it's it just exact or 2017. I can't remember what it was. I think it was 2019 though, but, um, you know, it's exactly what I want. I just wanted the game to feel the same. So I stuck with the classic look dead zone is small. Um, on this controller I'm using doesn't have a big dead zone issue, but, um, you know, if your controller does have a lot of stick drag and a lot of stuff like that, you want to consider moving those dead zones up movement. Dead zone is small. Uh, I hated this. I think I tried large just to see like what it would be looking like and um you know even with a bit of you know controller drift the only time you want to turn the large on is if it's affecting your sprint so if you're if your dead zone is you know fucked up enough to where you're not able to sprint 100 percent of the time then you want to turn this on large um i think on my old controller that i was using i was having that issue and i turned on large and i still didn't like it, it didn't feel good at all um so i just went and bought a new controller uh new inverted look you have off. I never like inverted. Vibration off. This one's huge, guys. I play every single game with vibration off, mainly because, number one, is it does affect your recoil. You might not think it does. You might like that realism feel of feeling your gun shoot, but it affects your recoil control. It affects your aim. So turning this off is absolutely crucial. Advanced look controls, um, you know, I don't have any on. Everything is default. So primarily... All my settings are default. So anybody, you know, who's really, really saying that you can't really get into the game or, you know, the game's too hard because you can't get good settings. Really, guys, it's not because you can just use primarily the defaults. I think the main thing I've changed is the interactive reload button. I think that's actually the only thing I've changed. And um, the game feels fine to me. Uh, obviously, your video settings, your audio settings, your gameplay settings, all that stuff you need to change on your own. 
But as for the controller setting specifically, I think everything is really, really good on the default, uh, except for vibration and except for interactive reload. That's primarily your main changes there. So guys, that's going to do it for my controller settings guide on Apex Legends. If you want gameplay, video, and audio settings, let me know in the comments below. I can certainly do them. It doesn't take a lot of time to make a video like this at all. So just let me know in the comments. Make sure you leave that like, subscribe, and you're sponsored in the description below. That's all I got. Thank you for watching. I'm out.